Today I want to give you some quick tips for submitting your word processed assignment. Firstly, when you open up a word processing document, it will look something like this. Generally, the font size is around about 11 or 12 by default. Don't make it any larger than 12. Generally also, your default font will be appropriate. Calibri, for example, is an easily readable font. Don't change that. The first thing you'll start off with is your title and your name. We'll centre these in a minute, but for now, just concentrate on your writing. The most important thing to remember is to structure your writing into paragraphs to make it more readable. One thing you might like to do is to indent the beginning of each paragraph. To do this, you'll need the ruler. If you can't see the ruler, go to the View tab and click on Ruler. Once you can see the ruler, select your text. As you can see, I've selected all text other than the heading and my name. Then move up to this arrow pointing downwards in your ruler. Click and drag it along to the right to make your indent at the beginning of each paragraph. Another good tip for making your assignment more readable and giving your teacher more space in which to provide feedback is to increase your line spacing. To do this, go to the Home tab and move down to the Paragraph area where you see this icon. The default line spacing is 1. You might like to change that to either 1.15 or 1.5 as you can see I've done here. I might go back to the heading and your name now. These will probably be centred, so select them first and simply use the centre icon to centre them. You may like to select just the heading and increase its font size slightly. You may also like to change its font to something that stands out a bit more, such as Arial Black. Don't use anything that's too difficult to read. Usually when your teacher gives you an assignment, they will specify a word count. The word count can easily be seen by looking in the review tab and hitting the word count icon. Another important icon in the review tab is the spelling and grammar icon. Don't forget to use this to check your spelling and grammar. One final important note about submitting a word process document is to insert a footer. Go to the Insert tab and choose Footer. The purpose of this is to ensure that your name is on each page of your assignment in case it gets separated into different pages. Click the cross to close this footer and you're done. Remember to save your document. Thank you.